So, this is the ECU from the uh, wiring harness video. Pulled off that 4.8. So what I'm about to do is disconnect this one, hook this one up, get on HP tuners, see if my credits is working. I'm going to flash this one and turn this one into a motor stand. I haven't been working on an OVET much. It's uh, been a really busy month. Came a grandfather, stepson John. You've seen him in a couple of the videos. He had a son. Jackson, my uh, wife's grandmother passed away. I buried her today. Then, of course, been sick. Then uh, this weekend I went hunting because it was the last of bow season. I still had a, uh, still had a lot of tags. Didn't get nothing. Didn't have no luck. Then it's been cold, really cold. Then, as a uh, last video, I was working on this thing, getting this S10 going because I need a truck. But there's still more issues. There's issues with all my vehicles. There's something going on with everything. Malibu wheel hub or CV axles messed up or both or strut or all three. The Jeep has a code in it, which is a pretty serious one. I believe it goes to the oil pump. It sounds awful. I need to get it figured out. I need to disconnect the battery. Hopefully I didn't mess it up because I took this off without disconnecting the battery. I guess we'll find out. These are always good to save. Don't never trash these. This is what's going on with this. I wanna, I'm using this as a motor stand, ECU, and I wanna use a wiring harness that I put off that 4.8 for it. I wanna build a motor stand so I can, whenever I pull any engines, I can test it. Or anybody local that wants to rent it from me, rent it from me for like 50 bucks or something. A little bit of extra cash flow, you know, help out with projects and hobbies. But also, there's a filler. I know that he's trying to get a 07, Tahoe running and uh, he can't for some reason he can't get his credits to upload like whenever you go to right vehicle and that's when you pay for your credits he's done bought some I've done bought some I can't get him to work right on mine are his so I don't know if I'm kind of hoping that it's just a Wi-Fi connection at his shop I'm here at the house I'm going to use mine and see if I can delete the vats off of this because if I can delete the vats off of this here I know that it's his Wi-Fi and then we might be able to arrange for his Tahoe to come here and do what he needs to do or he can upgrade his Wi-Fi this is where a bench harness would be very handy, but I don't have one, so this is what Battery I do. connected. Now, just out of curiosity, without deleting vats, I wonder what will happen. Well, everything kicked on. Hey, it runs <laughs> for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get without deleting bats. Dun, 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 dun. We are connected. Read the vehicle. Turn the key on. Three minute break and we'll be right back right now. Turn the motor click. Make some noises. And now we get this. What are we going to save this as? We're going to save this as 4.8 junkyard ECU uh, first. That lets me know that this is the ECU of the 4.8 junkyard and that it was first read. And we are going to save it to, save it to desktop for easy access. All right, so we've got it red. All right, so now we're going to go to the system, bats, click none, highlight it pink. You know that's your changes. And theoretically, now oh, that's all you got to do. Write it back to the ECU. Start it up. Go to right vehicle. And it's asking to show license. So we'll show license. There's this little thing. And zero credits available. That's not right. No, I got plenty because I bought it. Five credits right here. Might have got it figured out. I went up here to help. Clicked help and I resynced interface. Once I did that, it said three credits uploaded, which I have more than that, so I don't understand. Now when I go to right, to show license, it says I have three. Now we'll click specific, and okay. All right, now we are deleting that. All right, so I just got the, I just got it wrote. I wanna see if this thing runs. The only thing I done was I deleted the bats, security system to make it run, plus in the engine I changed it to a 5.3 instead of a 4.8. Let's see if it's going to stay running this time. 